Hello everyone, Sean, welcome back to this channel. I have in front of me a power supply that came out of a uh, Klipsch 1200 soundbar. Now, the customer only sent in the power supply itself, uh, did not send any of the audio amplifier circuitry. So there is a bit of testing I can do with this and then a lot I can't do. Um, and I'll explain why. So when I put in power, I should be able to see rectification come to here and that should be fine. This is a switch mode power supply. So you can see that there's separating separation between, uh, basically the switching side and then our low voltage DC side and high voltage DC, I guess, uh, coming out. So basically, you know, with all switch mode power supplies, you have AC DC rectification step up or step down through a uh, transformer okay uh, well you got this transformer right here sorry um, if you notice these two components right here that is going to provide isolation between the uh, this side of the PCB and this side okay uh, also feedback circuit uh, so that way um, you know, a signal has to come in to turn on the side to allow the output, and then the output's monitored uh, and provides feedback in order to control the output as well. So the rectified DC that's developed here is chopped up into a pulse width modulated uh, a high frequency AC signal before being fed through this uh, transformer here and stepped down to other uh, voltages and then further rectified to different DC voltages. Uh, it's like we got two types of transformers providing that function, a bigger one and a smaller one. So from my understanding, uh, we have a five volt output and 24 or 25 volt output, uh, from what I was reading online. Okay. And, uh, that means that I should see 24 volts across these two pins here. And then you can see these are labeled ground, ground, VCC, VCC, and then STB, which stands for standby. All right. So on the voltage pins, I think I should see five volts according to online documentation, other people working on these. The problem is, is that when you power this up, um, or when you plug in AC, you need there's another board that's going to allow you to turn on and off the subwoofer. And when it's powered up, this standby signal uh, here will go from zero volts to 2.5 from my understanding uh, reading online. Now they say 2.5 volts DC, uh, but I don't know if it was just measured with DC and maybe it's a, uh, some type of, um, you know, PWM type signal that just, uh, you know, when you put a DC, uh, make a DC measurement across it, you see 2.5 volts. So I can't really say if I inject 2.5 uh, volts onto that pin, uh, will it turn on this uh, power supply? Um, and then I'll get my high voltage output, the 24, 25 or whatever. Uh, that's not worth the risk for me um, because I don't have the other half. I'd much prefer to have the uh, other part of this uh, basically um sound bar yeah 1200 sound bar in order to safely power this up and test but that being said i have noticed some issues with it because the customer did say that i uh, just stopped uh, no power out one day let me show you the issues i found and here we go wiggle 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 you see that there yeah, I thought you would. These, uh, that's pretty shoddy, uh, soldering from factory. Uh, this cap that's wiggling is also bulged. And these other caps at the end, uh, look like they might have gone as well. Uh, you have three style caps here at the end. Uh, you have the bigger ones are uh, 820 microfarad, 35 volt. This one, this one, this one right here. And then you have uh, two 1000 microfarad at 16 volt caps. Now I've got some uh, 1000 microfarad, 16 volt caps on hand. I'm going to swap those in. I have to get, I don't have these on hand. Crazy. 
so many capacitors and I've got benches full of them, but now I'm back to finding ones that I don't have again. Uh, so I'm going to swap out the, these output capacitors and maybe without the, uh, standby, we get the low voltage five volts out, but, uh, but we'll see, uh, these other three most likely need to get replaced too. If you're wanting a brand for them, well, there you have it. That's typical typical uh, brand that you find on like Amazon and stuff. Ching X or whatever. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to put some more reputable capacitors in there as we work on this device. And with those two caps removed, why don't we just check their value? Here's the one that did not vent. Thousand microfarad. Measuring 989, 992 microfarad. It's most likely that this one's good. If it was overvalued, I would think that uh, it was pretty leaky. Here's the one that vented. Yeah. Yeah, nothing. It's pretty gone. Three point one mega ohms of resistance. Seventeen meg. So yeah, it's gotten leaky. You see that the uh We see that it's more or less performing like a resistor now than a capacitor. All right. Well, um, let me, uh, now that I've gotten our replacement caps in, uh, let me get it uh, powered up and see what it does. All right. We've got it powered up. Let's go around and uh, I'm gonna check to see if we got our five volt rails back. And if we do, uh, I'm going to say that it's good about. I mean, I'm going to replace all those capacitors at the outside of it regardless. So should have two five volt rails. I didn't have these before and yeah, I'm seeing five volts. Now this is a ground that's ground five volts, five volts and standby. So 5.3 there, 5.3 there, zero there. That's a, the standby voltage and then I'm not getting anything at the output until it's turned on so that would be our 24 volt signal but the fact that we get the 5 volt signal I believe is a good sign that this power supply will work so uh, I'm gonna get the rest of these caps replaced and email the customer and let them know um, what's going on again if uh, you know I would need the entire sound bar to actually troubleshoot this one or at least the other you know boards that allow me to power it on and the amplifier and stuff but um but i feel like uh at least seeing the voltages that we are on the right step here so yeah if you have a eclipse soundbar 1200 or something uh check your output caps they uh, appear to have pretty shoddy soldering i uh, would highly recommend getting some rubicon or uh nichicon um, I think around like, um, what, 15 millimeters. Hold on a second. Let's go off of my nearly there caliper, my calipers here. So, uh, you're looking at about eight millimeters in diameter. And, uh, what about the length? Uh, somewhere around 16 millimeters in length, maybe 15.5. That's a pretty common number, but yeah, that's uh, that's around the size you need. So make sure you pay attention to the diameter at least. And uh, yeah, that should be it. So uh, like I said, I'm going to invoice. I'm going to get the rest of these caps on order, replace this, invoice the customer, and let them let them know what I found. Um, if you have a Clips 1200 subwoofer, check those things if it doesn't power out on anymore. Uh, that all being said, thank you for watching this video. Uh, take care and goodbye.
are 